What's up guys? Christmas is done and New Year's Eve is upon us and what that means is 2017 and the slew of amazing films in 2017 are on their way but it's been one of those weird years 2016 the whole year's gone by feels like it's been a week at most and we've seen a hell of a lot of films in that time. We've, we've seen guys we've seen a, a lot of films you know amongst our, the normal sort of day jobs that we do like reviewing, well, actually, we don't we don't actually review films all that much because our lives are so busy. But we have accumulated a lot of content, um, and it's a bit slightly bit annoying for us because we can't do these reviews that we want to actually get out, and we know that you guys want to see. But we are extremely busy, and there is just so many films that we have taken in. And you know what? We didn't realize that how many films that we had watched until our boy. Sam, Sam put together a sort of a monologue. Is that a monologue? No. What's it called? It's called montage, a... yes. it? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a, it's a montage for us to look back at the films that we've been uh, watching. But through that, we also wanted to pick our number one, didn't we? We did. So, right at the end of the video you're about to see is going to be our number one pick of the year. I think that you can probably guess what it is. But the journey to that number one was a long and arduous one. And we thought, why not share that with you now? Oh wait, before we before we start or the now. now. Yeah, sorry, before we start, it's actually not the last one because I think the way Sam has done it is Bollywood, Hollywood and Tollywood. But the best film is still going to be the one we say at the end of the whole video. Yes. Sorry, I misunderstood. <laughs> Alright, you could do that again. <laughs> uh, now. That was a lot of movies, that yeah. was a lot of movies. And that was 2016 in a snapshot. There were some incredible films, there were some terrible films, but in that one minute and 36 seconds, thank you again, Sam, for putting that together for us. You have seen some of the best moments of this year, but none, none of them touch what we experienced last week when we went to the cinema to watch our number one very best film of this year, and arguably, not just in Indian cinema, but across all cinema, that film is Dungal. Yeah. Um, guys, we enjoyed this film so much. If you don't follow us on Twitter, you may want to do that, and Instagram. But we were posting the amount of tickets that we were purchasing. We went constantly back into the cinema to watch this film over the course of four days because it's, you know what, it's nice for the year to come to an end. You know, we weren't kind of complete within, I, I suppose I could say, our sort of Indian viewing experience. There wasn't a film that really kind of stood out for us. And it was great to know that this film just came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Bang, there you guys go, check this out. And we loved it so much. 
that it was just, we spent a lot of money, Rabbi. Yeah, a lot of money and it was worth it because sometimes a film comes along that you don't just want to watch yourself, you want to share it. And I went back, you went back, we watched this again and again and again and every single time shared those same emotions of excitement, of sadness, of melodrama and inspiration ultimately. It is a great film. Yeah. And arguably, some of Amir Khan's best work. I, I reckon I would go so far and say Amir Khan thinks Lagan is his favourite film, best film. I think this tops Lagan. I'll go so far as to say that. <clears throat> I really do. Yeah, I do, dude. I reckon this beats Lagan. Guys, let us know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Does it beat Lagan or not? But you're right. It was just amazing jaw dropping. So much so that we decided that when the film comes out, rather than, we were originally gonna just do uh, an in-depth breakdown of the film, but we thought, why not, when the movie comes out, do a sort of um, a commentary on it. So whilst the film is running, we break down our sort of thoughts and feelings to every small little thing that put a smile on our face and bring tears out of our eyes whilst watching this movie. And we're going to share that with you in some way, shape or form, and hopefully you'll enjoy that because it'll be the first for us. But this year's also brought a rebrand to Bolly Falls. It's brought um, new friends into the group that have helped us create some really, really compelling content. Um, you saw the first collaboration between Bolly Falls and, and, and Jabby. And there's a lot more to come in 2017. Now, we're always planning, we're always trying to evolve, we're always trying to do new and interesting things to keep you guys entertained. And all we ask for in return is your ongoing support and love that you show us all the time. Uh, and even some of you that don't show us the love, you keep us motivated. So thank you very much for that. And with that, I think it's about time we wish everyone a happy new year and sign off for 2016. We, we, we can, but I, I just want to go one step further, Abby, and say that if we get to a certain number, I am willing to do something on camera. Right, that came out completely wrong. So what I thought, last time we were supposed to get to a certain amount of subscribers mm -hmm. and if we hit that number we were going to do something crazy like jump out the plane and do a trailer reaction. Right. So this time round, mm -hmm. we don't want to do the chili challenge, do we? No. No, no, we don't want to do that. Okay, if you haven't seen that video, go back. It'll be in the link below. Watch that. Um, but what I thought is, I thought that if we get to 100,000 subscribers, I'll wax my chest live. <laughs> live. Live, live. You can record it. You'd be, well, I want to record it. It's going to be live. I'm going to do a YouTube live yeah, broadcast you, yeah, of your head, yeah, your yeah, chest you, you being You be behind the camera. That's what I meant. That's uh, slightly weird. All right. <laughs> if you want to see that, let us know below. If not, you can issue your own challenge down below. But the key here is, you know, guys, you've supported us. We've got much, much further than we ever thought we would in the beginning. Uh, we appreciate it massively and we hope that continues for 2017. Guys, it's your boy Simon. Travi. Peace. Take care.